13 Insanely Useful Canva Tips and Tricks Tip and Tricks Number 1 is Live Stream Through Canva So with Canva you can also live stream, this is certainly very easy for you, especially those of you who need remote presentations, you don't need settings using various other applications and you only need Canva and also your design, okay, let's talk about how to live stream on Canva. The first step of course you need to select the Create Design button on your Canva account, then select this presentation design, after that a blank screen will appear like this and you only need to design according to your needs. You can also use the available templates and because this is the only example so I will use this template only, then the next step you just need to click on the presentation button in the upper right corner. Then here there are three options for you to choose, from these three options I usually choose standard because I don't need recordings and notes about the videos that I present, but you can adjust this according to your needs. For example, you need recordings so you can upload it on YouTube to make it easier for your students to access the material you prepared, or you can also choose to show notes so that your students can prepare questions for the next slide. Then you just need to click the present button, after you click the present button it will look like this, then you click on the live button in the lower right corner, then after you click it then you just need to click the start button. After you click the start button earlier, the display from Canva will look like this and the last step is that you only need to share the invasion code with your students. The best part is that your audience doesn't need an app or account to access your live stream. They can directly ask questions from their browsers. So, if you are an instructor, you can use this function of Canva to conduct webinars, question and answer sessions, etc. Tip and tricks number two is create websites through Canva. This is true and you heard right that you can build a website with Canva, so this can save you thousands of dollars just by using Canva. The first stage you only need to design the website you want to create, of course we click the create a design button first so you can create a website design according to your needs. Then you select the website options that are here, after that a blank page like this will be created, and only you just need to design it but I just use the existing template to make it faster. Of course, you can choose various templates because here there will be lots of templates that will make it easier for you to create a website, then you just choose one and it will look like this. Then you can also add another URL on your website, so when your customer clicks on your website they can go directly to your online store. The method is very easy, you just need to click on the text and then you just need to click the link button in the top right corner, then put the link that you have prepared because this is just an example, I will give a random link, namely to youtube.com. To provide a link like this, I have discussed in my previous video about tips and tricks about Canva, so if you want to know the secrets of Canva then you can click on the YouTube link that I included, but of course after this video you watch because I also discuss various Canva secrets in this video. The last stage if your website is ready you just need to press the publish button in the top right corner, then you can choose from these two options, namely by navigation or not depending on your needs. Then select the continue button and you can add a description on your website. The last step is to click the publish button at the bottom and wait until the process is complete. This is great for creating landing pages or portfolio sites that don't need to be updated regularly. The only problem is that you cannot change the Canva URL. However, you can use link shortener tools to hide the Canva links. Tip and tricks number three is copy style of an element. If you have several words or items on the page and want to simplify them, you may utilize the copy style when creating. The copy style button allows you to copy and paste the font size, typeface, transparency, color, filter, and effects of one element onto another. If you want to copy elements or a whole group from one design to another, you may copy and paste them to the correct area. It also replicates hyperlinks and any effects that have been applied. So with only one button it will be very easy for you to make a design, I usually use this feature for Instagram posts so I don't have to bother making layouts for some of the Instagram posts that I have. Tip and tricks number 4 is view similar design elements. This tips and trick is one that I like best because we can search for any image or any element with just a few clicks and we can use those elements in our designs. Let's try this method on a random template in this Canva. I chose this template that I want to find an image that is similar to this anime image. First you click on this anime woman image, then a button will appear above, 
This button is an information button that contains the image info. You can use this search based on the keywords that appear or use the see more like this button. Both have different search results and let's try using the see more like this button then an image like this will appear and you can use it for your design. Then let's try using the existing keywords, then the results will be like this, so you can use both to do research or find inspiration. I just remembered that you can also search by the name of the designer and it will bring up various works made by that designer. Just more info you can also use magic recommendations when choosing an image from the search, then you will be recommended similar images too. Tip and tricks number 5 is to use Canva screen recorder to record your presentations. Yes. Canva includes a screen recorder. You will find it handy to record your presentations on Canva if you are a student, teacher, or business professional. Step 1. From the Recommended tab, choose Present and Record. Step 2. Select Go to the Recording Studio. Step 3. Fine-tune your microphone and camera settings and begin recording. You can also provide important notes that will appear on your screen while presenting. The notes would be hidden if you downloaded or shared a link to your recorded presentation. They have just developed audio-only talking presentations, which allow you to simply record your voice along with the presentation. Tip and tricks number 6 is add a gradient in the background. This is actually a bit of a problem because Canva doesn't provide gradients, but you can add gradients to your designs. The way is quite easy, first you just need to type it in the gradient box search field and you just need to choose the one that suits your taste. Then you just need to cover the entire empty area with the gradient image you created earlier. The last stage is to change the color of each existing background according to your needs. Tip and tricks number 7 is Canva Curve Text and Effects. Click on a text element in your design. Choose Effects. You may add several effects to your text such as shadows, hollow, echo, curve, neon, glitch effect, and so on. Under shadows, you may change the shadows hue, direction, offset, blur, and transparency. It's fantastic for producing 3D effects, in my opinion. The curvature effect allows you to change the degree of curve on a slider bar. It's useful for creating logos. Tip and tricks number 8 is directly use an image on Canva. Many people don't know this and usually people will download an image and then upload the image to Canva. This is the same as working twice because there is an easier way without you having to download the image, that method is drag and drop the photo. You just need to open Google and just type in the image you want to find, I gave an example of a car, then you drag this image into your Canva and the result will be like this, this method can be used for almost all online images. Tip and tricks number 9 is use Canva's brand kit to streamline your designs. If you have your own brand, then brand kit's feature would be beneficial for you. It's a pro plan feature, but you can access it in free version too with some limitations. First we first open the brand menu in the home menu, then you scroll down and you will find the brand menu. Just click on the menu and you will see the menu as follows. On my brand menu there is a random logo belonging to my team so we use this for example. In this menu there will be several options, namely the logo you have then the color and font you use for your logo, if you Canva doesn't have your logo font then you can add it through this menu. Because I use a team account not an owner account so I can't upload a logo here, so if you want to add there is usually a plus button next to this logo and you can add your logo via that button and you only need to set the colors and fonts like this. Now, while designing social media posts, you can simply click on the brand kit to align the design as per your brand identity. Tip and tricks number 10 is leave comments while collaborating. If you're working with a design team, you may leave comments for them by clicking the bubble symbol next to the canvas. In the comments, you may also tag your colleagues. This of course will greatly facilitate cooperation between the teams you have because if your team is small it is easy to coordinate, but when your team is large then this is very helpful in team coordination. Tip and tricks number 11 is adjust text position using rulers. Rulers or measurements like in Microsoft Word can be displayed on your Canva. The method is very easy, of course. First open our design file and then click the file menu in the left corner of our Canva page. 
then we only need to click on the show ruler and margin section so that when you designing it will be easier and you can also display a show print bleed if you want to print your design physically and so that it doesn't get cut off in printing. The measurement unit is pixels by default. But you can change it to cm, mm, or inches from the resize button. Tip and tricks number 12 is use Canva Logo Maker to create awesome logos for your brand. How to use a logo maker is quite easy. You just need to click on the create a design section, then you select a logo. Then you choose the template you like because here there are lots of logo templates that you can use. After you choose the logo you like then change some of the elements and the logo that you made is finished, or you can also directly use the available logo templates and your logo is ready and can be used. Tip and tricks number 13 is search for templates from the home page. We all start with the design format and then go on to the templates, right? However, did you realize that the format of your design might limit the number of search results? The ideal marketing template you want may not be accessible in Instagram story format. As a result, you should search for templates from the main page to have a large number of possibilities to choose from. You may afterwards resize it to fit the format you wish to use it on. If you like this video please hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons and leave a comment below this video to let me know your thoughts. If you have any questions please drop me a comment below this video to let me know what you would like to see next and what type of videos you want me to create for you, I will be able to respond back to you as soon as possible also be sure to check out our other videos as well, thanks for watching.